In a previous series, I modeled this steampunk lamp, and now I'm going to go ahead and create one of these uh, pipe men or robot lamps. Not quite sure which pose it's going to be, but it's going to definitely be cool. All right, so this is the one that I think I'm going to do, although there's so many different ones. And what I'm going to do in this video is basically uh, make the parts. So we're going to create the, the shoulder, which can be used for the knee as well. We're going to create this one here, which could be the elbow. And this, I'm going to call this the neck piece or the chest piece. And there's also a hip and some, you know, like the leg bones. We got a short one, we got a longer one. And uh, I'm going to call these the joints. Not really sure what else to call them. Probably do the head in another video and the bulb down the road as well. And I think we're going to go for this kind of a pose. The hands and feet may be slightly different, but we're going to give it a try. When I did the steampunk lamp, I modeled it in Blender and then I textured it uh, mostly in Substance Painter and a little bit in Blender. And I think I'm going to do the same kind of thing here. All right, so here we are in Blender. I'm going to press 1 to look from the front. What I'm going to do this is I'm going to press Shift A, Mesh Plane, and I'm going to bring it to Plane. And I'm going to go into Edit Mode, Rotate X90, and we'll have this. I'm going to take this point, I'm going to just delete it so I've got just that. I think I will Shift D and duplicate that, move it over. And what I want to do is I want to take this point and I'm just going to move it in. I'm not, I'm not going to be overly accurate. I'm just, I'm just doing that so I have less of a curve there. All right. With that point selected and shift and click that point, we have both of those. I'm going to press shift control B and I'm going to pull and split this like that. Roll my mouse up till I have five points and just adjust the curve. So this one I've got comes up sort of 90 degrees and this one just goes up like that. Okay, back into object mode, right click, convert to curve, and the curve dialog box under geometry and bevel, I'm going to choose something like 0. Point. Try 0. 0.5, maybe 0. 0.6. So I get this one with the 90 degrees and this one it just comes like that. All right, okay. I want to convert these to a mesh. I'm going to change the resolution to about four. We'll try four. We'll see how that goes. And now convert to mesh. Let's go in and look. So that looks okay to me. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift alt and click these ends here. I'll do all of them at the same time. In order to do that, I'm going to switch to individual origins. And I'm going to press E and S and start pulling out like this. Come down here and I get I think I'll go for I'll go for 1.3. 1.3 and 1.3 all across the board. Alright. Let's switch back to median point. Take this one. Look from the side. And I think for this part, I will just, just eyeball it. So pull it out like that. Deselect. And get them similar. Now this one is a little harder to do. And um, there's nothing that I can really do here. I don't think E, that's kind of off. So. I'm just going to press uh, G and pull it down a similar kind of a distance. And I'm just looking for this line to be kind of straight. I'm just going to go back to global. E, come out. Okay, 
with that edge selected I'm going to press E and S and I'm just going to come in ways not really going to worry about too much about how much it's going to be I'm just going to do that for all of them E and S E and S okay now with a little bit of that selected I'm going to press Control L P and I'm going to break it out so I now have two separate pieces Control 2 for two subdivisions shade smooth and now add a couple of edge loops pull one up here pull one here not too tight like this one up and one down okay shade smooth and and control two and edge loop up here and here and an edge loop down here and here okay so these pieces can serve as the knee as the shoulder and stuff like that let's move that over there we'll take both of these and just slide them uh, out of the way for the time being and come back to those uh, now I'm going to use a piece of this I'm going to grab this circle shift D pull it out I want to make sure that it's vertical so I'm going to press SX 0 and P and break it out I'm going to use that circle let's bring it back to here pretty much press period key to zoom in okay with that done let's press E come out and for this one we're going to make uh, the chest piece and the, the hips okay so the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to hide the subdivision surface go into edit mode and I'm going to box select that point there so I have both of them and shift s cursor to select it I'm going to switch over to 3d cursor look from the front deselect and then I'm going to box select all of the top parts including that point where I have my 3D cursor there. All right, with that done, I'm gonna scroll over here to sh the shear tool, there it is. Click that, and I'm gonna pull like this. And when the dialog box pops up, I'm gonna change this, the offset, to minus one. And I will have that. Now, before I go any further, I'm gonna select it all. I'll come back to my, there. Shift D and I'm going to pull this down and make another copy out of that one. Now I'm going to come back here and I'm going to box select all of these. 3D cursor still there. Back to the shear tool. Like this. And now I want one. So this one has sort of a pull back or cutaway on both on both sides. Okay. Good. Select it all, Shift D, rotate Z 180 degrees. So I get this. And I've got two pieces going on here. Now, I'm going to take this one here and I'm going to merge at center. Take that one, merge at center to make sure they're, they're joined. And for this one here, down here, I'm just going to merge by distance and it got rid of a few okay cool let's go back to median point now and we will select I'm going to go to vertex selection I'm going to select this point and come around here and these top ones so I have all of those points selected there look from the front E to extrude, pull it up. S Z zero to scale. In the Z, that's so what's nice and straight. I'm gonna select these points. I could probably just box select like this. Make sure I've got them all going around. E and come down. S Z zero. Okay, so that is gonna be the neck piece there. 
select a little bit of this and just move it out of the way a little bit. Box select all of this. E. This will be the hips. Okay. And with that done, I'm going to press Control L and P to break out. So I now have two separate pieces here. Already got that, so let's just turn that back on and shade smooth. Come in and add some edge loops. Let's bring it in like that. Okay, that's good enough for the moment. This one also has subdivision. Bring that in. Just not too, too tight. Like that. Okay, now let's look at the picture here. So this, you can see the chest part comes down a little further than the neck part does. So I want to do that here. The chest comes down a little further. So what I want to do is just select here and pull this down. So that's how that would go. And here you can see the, the, uh, the hips. All right, so we need to do the round part. So let's do that. So I'm gonna select here. Let's go back into individual origins. Press E and S and pull. And I think we use 1.3. Might have been 1.2, but these are separate kind of pieces, so I'm not sure that matters. We got 1.3 all the way around, so that's good. So let's now go back into medium point and uh, we can shift alt and click here and shift alt and click there we can go e and sz and i could try to make them similar to these if i wanted so i could bring this piece over and just look at it as i do this Something like that looks okay. I'm going to select here. E. S. X. That's good enough. While I'm here, I will take this and go E and S. And pull it in. Do that for all of these pieces. Just a little bit. And then... Of course, we'll need more edge loops. Like this. Okay. edges, individual origins, E and S, pull out, 1.3, 1.3, 1.3, back in the median point, come up, similar distance, might as well start closing that off right now. Chips. Okay, we'll do both of them. E and SX pull. frame and box select and let's go SX All right, this looks a little bit more even All right. 
with each part selected individually I'm going to set the origin to geometry just makes it a little bit easier to manipulate these there we go great okay shift C just move the 3d cursor right back there um, so we have a number of pieces going here We've got the, the uh, chest or neck piece, we've got the hips, we've got the shoulders, we've got the elbow, um, and I may have to manipulate some of these still. Let's do this thing here and the straight pipes, let's uh, see. To get the approximate uh, width that I want, let's come back in here again, borrow your curve there, circle, whatever, take it out sx0 and p to break it out just going to move it closer and extrude it out a length i don't know how long i want that but uh, i'm going to do that and let's have another closer look can't really tell here but yeah a little bit there's a little bit of threading on here on these so that'll make it look a little bit better as it sort of fits in so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bring in an edge loop bring it down to maybe around there okay and in face selection I'm gonna shift alt and click there and I'm gonna press E and alt s and I'm going to push up to pull that down a little ways like that Let's turn off the subdivision surface. It's face selection still, I'm going to shift alt and click there and I'm going to delete that stuff. So I have a lower section now here that would go in. It doesn't matter if it doesn't if the, the circle on this is not the right size, but there's going to be something like that. Okay, let's pull that back out. Okay, now I'm going to roll my mouse wheel up as I press control R. Let's say if I do six back into face selection I'm gonna get one two three of those I'm gonna want that on the other side but I'll I'll mirror this so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna press E and alt s and I'm gonna pull down and I want these to come out kind of the same up to the same height as the original um, not really that important but something like that let's put the subdivision back on the shade smooth and then this is a question if I feel I need to add edge loops, and I probably should. I'll put one edge loop in each of them and shift alt and click it, and then control B and pull it, or roll back to sort of zero so I have just two edges, and I'll just pull it out like that. And I don't know, I mean, sometimes I would put another edge loop in the space as well, shift alt and click it, and then. Uh, control B. You end up getting a lot of polys, but you know, like that. That might even be too sharp for my likes, but I'll go with that. Let's just drop an edge loop somewhere in there and then delete those vertices. Shift Alt and click there and Shift S. Bring the 3D cursor there. Bring one more edge loop down here to tighten that up. I'm going to go ahead and apply that mirror, select it all, merge by distance just in case, and I'll get rid of this text. I don't need that. Okay, so now I have those pieces on both ends. But actually what I should do, maybe even before I mirrored it, was uh, I will close this a little bit like that. Just because I, I don't really like the sharp end there. Ooh. I just think it's a nicer piece that would fit in like that and you could see a little bit of thread here and there okay let's save and let's make sure yeah you see we have some pieces that are flipped so all 10 we calculate outside Take these guys, select Alt and Recalculate outside. So we have that going on. 
and that piece uh, I can shorten or lengthen as needed as well. Let's turn on the cavity shader and you can see what we've got. Shift A, mesh, circle. I'm going to go for six vertices. Rotate X90. So I can look at it like that. I'm going to press 1 for vertex selection, E and S, and pull in to get this. In edge selection, I'm going to Shift Alt and click all the edges going around it. And I'll put a subdivision surface on this. And so I want to strengthen that up. Press Control B and pull and roll my mouse up one. So I get that. I also want a circle here, so I'm going to select that. And because I have loop tools installed or enabled, as you probably do as well, I'm going to choose circle, press one. I'm going to press R to rotate by looking straight on in number one and just rotate it so that my edges look a little nicer. Okay. E to extrude, I'm going to pull out like that. Let's extrude this back a little bit, give it a little bit of, of thickness, and then bring the 3D cursor there. Okay, I selected and brought the 3D cursor. I'm gonna just take this and Alt and recalculate outside, if need be. Set the origin of the 3D cursor and uh, mirror. So I have that. I'll turn on clipping. All right. And I guess before I go any further, what we'll do is we'll put some thread on this. Let's go E and S, pull that in. We're gonna need that. And, you know, ideally you probably want the thread to look the same on everything, but not gonna worry too much. So let's just do like a few here and uh, do that E and Alt S, and then I'll just push. And just have some thread like that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and apply that mirror and Control 2 shade smooth we'll come in here and just um, merge by distance in case we can take this center one and control B roll back to zero just two edges and pull it out to uh, sort of sharpen that piece out a little bit all right we can bring an edge loop up a little bit like that on both sides and then once again we can drop edge loops on all of these and then go around and select them all and control B to bevel it. Just don't pull it out too tight. Do it like that. Maybe on this one. Let's see. And that's pretty good. And that piece, let's actually change the orientation of that. Let's rotate X90. Uh, let's set the origin geometry is pretty good. How about this one? That's fine. So just to get a sense of this, um, it goes something like that. And really, the the width of this. I think should be closer to the size of that. Let's have a look. Um, you see the width of that and that. And yeah, so um, let's come in and let's scale shift Z. Make this smaller. That's okay. Uh, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. So that looks fine. All right, so we have that joint like piece. So far, so good. All right, so this, how many? One, two, three, maybe six again, eh? Jeez, we can probably just use this, can't we? Let's shift D and move that out. Let's get rid of all those vertices there. So similar, maybe a little bit different.
All right, let's select there and control plus a couple times till we get to the end. Let's extrude it down. Or not extrude it, but just pull it. Just take this and pull it down. All right, so what are we doing here? Yeah, I like I do like that out of sort of wrist like thing. So let's let's see if we can do that. Um Control plus a bunch. Even to there. Let's uh, delete those faces. And let's shift alt and click in face selection here in control plus. Um, I want to do it this way. I want to scale shift Z. That's what I was thinking of doing. Mm -hmm. Control plus. This and this. Uh, let's take this piece and extrude it out. It doesn't look right like that. Let's see if, if that was going to be the, to join. Is that what I would want? Let's test this by um, taking it. Let's first of all merge by distance in case. Let's rotate Y90. Uh, minus actually, and uh, this G, I don't know, let's put it on the end of something like that for the moment. Actually, what would it go on the end of? It would really go on the end of one of those. Yeah, maybe that extra piece doesn't look right. We have the thread going on there. Okay, we can, we can get rid of that, no problem. Let's uh, come up to their X faces. Right, let's just start with that and pretend it was on there. Let's see. That could probably work. Yeah, okay. Have a little gap in there. That's fine. Alright, so maybe we have a hand. Let's set the origin to the uh, geometry. And I'm not sure right now about the feet. All right, those ones are the same, but those are the same. This, but, but some of these are different. And so I haven't quite decided. Let's take this Shift D G and let's rotate Y90. going to work on this side here okay let's take this piece I think that this shoulder piece and the and the potentially the, the hip I think this is too long and what I need to do is come in here and just by eye I'm going to box select here and I'm going to pull up quite a bit I have a little bit of space there and I'm going to do the same thing here and get a similar amount of space between here and that edge so it's it's a much tighter curve all right let's take this show the shift D and uh, rotate Y90 
Okay, so that's a good start. And I think we should leave it at that point um, for the moment. We try that, double check. Everybody's facing the right way and they are. Good start, let's leave it like that and then we'll come back and model the other pieces and we'll put it together.